What's up guys, Inigami here. Let's go through stage two of Ace's Chaos Difficulty Coliseum. We're gonna be doing a double Marco team. And let's see, which Marco do I wanna use? You've got some decent sockets. No, you've got terrible sockets. Let's use this Marco. 25 turn cooldown, okay, never mind. Let's go back up to that. Uh, bu -bu 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 this one. No. This one. So we're going to be using a double Marco team with uh, Enel, Dolphmingo, Mihawk, and Strong World Usopp. Strong Usopp and Mihawk are very nice because Ors Jr. has 9 million health. So percent health cuts like Mihawk and Usopp are very, very useful against them. Stage 1, if you get, you can leave the guy in the back right here alive, he will lock your team, uh, lock your quick characters for 3 turns. I currently have level 1 anti-lock, so he'll lock my quick characters for 2 turns. Go ahead and take a lock from him here. And I'll have a 2 turn cooldown, so I think he'll attack me. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take a hit from him. Uh, we can also stall later on on stage number four. Take some a uh, couple of hits from the dinosaurs on stage number four, because dinosaurs on stage number four actually attack you for about eight thousand damage with two Marcos. So you have to remember that the amount of damage I'm going to be taking is half of the amount of damage you take if you're not using Marcos on your team. That is also very useful because on or is he will actually attack for 22,000 damage when he attacks. So with double Marcos, I will be able to survive a hit, only take about 10,000 damage from those hits. Now let me last a lot longer on Ors. Be able to take a hit, use Marco to heal back up. I'm gonna take a hit from the turtle. Do not let the giant get below 50% or get below 20% because he will boost the attack of the turtle, and you're not gonna you're not gonna find that very pleasant. Trust me. I, uh, I've done it before. So if you don't have Marco, you can always try this with, for example, a Marco Thatch. That's going to be a lot harder. You got some more damage, but you are going to have to burst earlier on using Marco Thatch and Double Marco. Because you will not have the second heal available from Marco himself. So we can take one more hit here. This will survive. Perfect, perfect. And then heal up a little bit of food. Stage number three is just a bunch of dudes. Nothing fancy. Kill them all. I should have just saved that food on my Doflamingo. Eh. He's blinded us for three, four turns? Five turns. That's okay. I'm not concerned about blinds. If you get these guys below 20%, they blind you. It's just something that the unit does as standard. Not, not too difficult if you're used to your characters. So here we go on the dinos. This guy will once again lock your quick characters for three turns if you let him survive. And I'm going to go ahead and take one more hit from these dinos. Save these two quick... T save these two food orbs. Also, while finding as many quick orbs as I can, if I get some quick orbs, that would be very nice. Two foods is all I need for my team to heal back up after I take a hit. So I can throw these two away, take a hit. And then heal with both of these. One, two. There you go. Now Anel will basically be ready. Every All my specials will basically be ready as soon as I get into ores. That's what I really want. Almost there. There we go. Alright, what sockets are... Oh, one quick orb. So I can use... We're going to use Mihawk immediately to get rid of a nice, super healthy 3 million damage. 2.6 million damage. Uh, we can also use Usopp now, but what we're going to do is we're going to take the first hit from Ors, use Marco to heal back up, and then use Usopp after that. Once Ors gets below 50% health, Ors will actually prevent himself from dying for 8 turns. 
So while he does that, we're actually going to be using our Thousand Sunny special to finish off Ors. So we're gonna take this first hit, then use Usopp and Marco after that to heal back up. That also should put Ors just under 50% with Usopp's special. Ooh, the game's uh, freaking out a little bit on me. So here we go. Marco, doesn't matter which Marco I use, same thing. You have to also be very careful. Remember that Marco does boost your orbs, so do not use Marco and then use Doflamingo. That means Doflamingo will only move orbs around, but he won't actually do any damage. I mean, he will not actually boost your specials. So I do have my orbs boosted right now for two turns, a regular 50% orb boost, just like your Kobe's, which will start to stack up on the damages. So there's the under 50% attack boost and defense boost, or and uh, I cannot be killed boost. And at this point, if I get some good orbs, if I get two or three good sockets, I'm going to use Anel and Marco and Doflamingo together. Making sure I use my Doflamingo after I use, I mean before I use my Marco. And make sure I use my Marco after I use Anel. Two quick orbs. Two quick orbs. Alright, we're just going to look for some orbs right here. One, two, three, and four. Get at least one more quick orb. Ugh, nothing. We'll go for it now. Put that here. Use a Nell, and then use Marco. This should do about 2 million damage to Ors with all this. It should get him pretty low to death if not right at death. And then after that, we can use a thousand something to finish him off. Here we go. Ooh, that is really close, but I don't want to risk thousand sunny. I'm just going to go ahead and take this attack. That's why I wanted to use my burst before I got him low. Yeah, that was way above 50,000 damage right, health right there. Now he's at zero health. Now he's a thousand sunny. Whammo bammo. That's it guys. That's how to beat Ors with a double Marco team. The ones you really want are a Marco. You can also use a Hancock friend or a Thatch, but it does make it a lot harder. Double Marco is definitely the way to go if you can. I've been Xenogami. Good luck. This Ors fight is very hard. It's one of those fights that you want to just beat once and then just get over with. So if you have to gem to continue, maybe like use one gem to beat Ors. It's a strong possibility. Maybe consider that. I'm Xenogami. Good luck. And y'all stay beautiful.